Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for December 4th through December 10th. This is for the sign of Leo. Now, this is intended to be a love reading, but we will see what comes up, and I have to remind you that this may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. This is for hundreds and thousands of people. It's not a private reading. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I think it's time to stop. I will focus the camera in after I get the cards laid out. Well, we definitely have some fire energy here, Leo. As a matter of fact, we even have you. So, just want to let you guys all know that this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And this uh, video should not be on anybody else's channel, okay? If it is, hit the uh, report button and uh, write a little comment under there that they've stolen it. <laughs> okay, so this is... Uh, for Leo, December 4th through the 10th. It feels like something is a happening. You expected something more. That's the basis of your reading, the Seven of Pentacles reversed. You are expecting something more. That's what it looks like. More excitement, perhaps? More growth? Because this is lack of growth with this Ace of Wands. Lack of growth, lack of excitement. Um, you know, but then there's contradictions here. Of course there is, you know? It looks like there's some, some tension, there's some conflicts, um, things are out of balance. Somebody's ignoring the truth, okay? Somebody's ignoring the truth uh, regarding uh, something that needs to end, but they're not letting it end because this is the death card reversed, you know? It's, it needs to end. There's a, it's, it's time for something new, but, you know, there's that but. Somebody's ignoring the truth, okay? Now, this could have to do with a partnership. It could have to do with um, the road that you're on. You know, there could be a dead end because it looks like, you know, upright. This is a new door, a new road, a new course reversed. It appears that there's a dead end here. And it looks like somebody needs to take action. And I'm thinking it could be you, Leo, because we have Leo here, Leo here, Leo here. And it seriously is time to take action. It's going to take strength. It's going to take willpower. It's going to take discipline. It's going to take confidence, courage, and but above all, strength. Okay? It takes strength this week to um, stop ignoring the truth, taking the blindfold off. Okay, to bring balance back to your life. Some kind of expectations have not been met. That's what the Seven of Pentacles means. It's reversed. Something is not coming to fruition that you have been waiting for. I mean, okay, it's just something isn't. It's time to get your life back on track, and I think many of you are contemplating what to do next. Um, with, the, with the Chariot card up there, it appears that somebody needs to move on. Somebody needs to move forward. I mean, really, forward movement. You need to put yourself in the driver's seat, okay? You take the lead. You're the leader here, all right? So I think you need to take action in some way. You need to really look at the situation, come up with a plan, and, and do something about it, okay? Really do it. Accept the truth and do something. When the chariot comes out in the reading, it means it is time to make a move. And you must replace fear with faith. I feel like so for some of you, pride has something to do with this. I mean, it does. There's a lot of pride here. And you're going to have to hold your head up high and take action. Okay? Um, you know, and sometimes it's, it's scary, and I can see that there's fear here. And mastering your emotions this week is a very, very big deal because you have it twice with the strength card and, and the chariot card. It's, it's really time to just 
accept the truth of a situation. I'm not sure what it is, but somebody needs to speak the truth because that's what this queen does. She speaks the truth. So perhaps it's time for you to speak your truth, okay? It feels like um, this is taking action. Act now. Take action right now, okay? I feel like many of you are are resisting for some reason. You're resisting, and it's, it has to do with pride, I believe, you know. Um, but with the death card, even in this reading, a transformation is needed. Something needs to end, or that card would have not come out. Okay, I'm not sure what it is, but for many of you, there is something that needs to end because it's not fulfilling your wishes. Your wishes fulfills this card upright. It is reversed, okay? So something is not happening the way you had expected, okay? It's not, and it's not turning out the way you had, had hoped. So now it's time for you to take action. There's too much tension. There's too much conflicts, and you can't ignore it anymore. Let me tell you who we are dealing with while I shuffle this deck. We have uh, you, right here, all over. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Cancer. We have Scorpio. And that is who we have so far. But it feels like for, for somebody who's watching this, there's no more growth in a particular situation. And you've put a lot of work into it. Okay, you've put a lot of work into it and you've watered it, you've nurtured it, you've done what you needed to do, but still it's not growing. Okay, and now it's just, it's something that needs to be let go of. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure that you can figure it out. It looks like something is has reached, you know, a dead end. Dead end, end. Not, no, not fulfilling. Okay. Time to take action. You can't resist it forever. It won't do you any good. It doesn't change things if you resist it. There's no more growth. Things are out of balance. There's a lot of conflict. Somebody is ignoring it. Somebody needs to speak their truth. They need to put themselves in the in in the driver's seat. They need to take action. I don't know who this is. Somebody needs to take action. And it's going to take confidence, courage. All three of these cards. It's going to take confidence, courage, willpower. But they have to take action. Somebody has is being urged to move forward. Master their emotions and speak their truth. This is like a death card as well, the Four of Swords. I mean, it, it's it's like the end of a situation. You have death right here, okay? It is. I mean, something has reached the end, and I'm not sure what that is. And somebody has been ignoring the truth. I mean, the, the, the Ace of Swords upright is the truth. It's reversed. Somebody is ignoring the truth, okay? That's all there is to it, and it's time to flip this card around, accept the truth, and speak the truth. There's, there's a lot of conflicts. There's a lot of tension here. And this sword is pointing right out of it. Right at it. Okay, and yes, there you are, Leo. The strength card twice. Pride is in the way. Pride. You have to seriously find your inner strength. Where is it? The force is within you. You can face your fears. It's time. I see that you are so, so ready. You're ready to open up. You're ready to speak the truth. You're right on the verge. But you still got a little bit of fear. Act on your hunches, please. They're telling you something. Many of you are just resisting a change. You are resisting, resisting, re resisting a change. There's, uh, seriously, very much so. Resisting a change all the way. Just, so don't even dare. Just don't even dare to.
And you know, that's why these the strength card is here twice. Oh, come on now. The force is within you. Right now, I mean, upright is when the, you move to a much better place. This is being stuck in the mud. When you don't accept the truth, you are stuck in the mud. And here now we have the devil card. This is the sign of Capricorn. Okay? Sexual desires. Obsessions. What's in the back? Okay, we got her right here and a person sitting over here watching her. Just waiting. Okay? The, the thing is, is there's desires that cannot be denied. Okay? When the devil comes into a reading, it doesn't bring good things. The devil does not bring good things. It's all false. It's all fake. It's not real. It's lies, deceit, obsessions, addictions, desires. Somebody needs to take action. First card is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Once you accept the truth of a situation, whatever it is, somebody is ignoring the truth. There's no doubt about it. I don't know who it is. Somebody that is watching this is ignoring the truth. Something needs to end. A transformation is needed. A new beginning is needed. True love. This Ace of Swords is right above it and it is reversed. And then we have the Devil underneath it. We have to pay attention to all the cards around it, okay? Perhaps, just perhaps, somebody is, was thinking something was true love. This being reversed says it's not true. This says it was probably sexual. This says that, some, that starting over is necessary. Somebody needs to take a risk and face their fears. This tells me that somebody needs to move to a better place, but they're not. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Somebody. Self-confidence is not okay. Somebody's self-worth is not up to par. Somebody doesn't have enough willpower. Somebody, doesn't, somebody has too much pride to take action. Somebody has been, has been hurt in the past, which has really messed with these qualities. The self-confidence, the self-worth, the ego, the not being strong enough. Somebody has been put down, is what I'm trying to say. Perhaps by their parents. I don't know. That card came out for a reason. Once you heal those issues, everything else will fall into place. You have to master your emotions big time.
The basis of your reading is the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Reversed. Something is not growing the way that you had hoped. Something is not panning out. Could have to do regarding a, a relationship that You know, take it for what it is. You figure that one out. Somebody's not accepting the truth. That's for damn sure. With that Ace of Swords reversed and that Two of Swords, somebody is not, they're lying to themselves. There's a lot of conflicts and tension going on for somebody. And the thing is, is it's, there's a lot of pride here because perhaps somebody felt like this. But it doesn't look like it's panning out. Journey. Journey. Branch out. To new worlds. It is. It's time. This is the full card. It's time to start over. It's time to start something new. Okay? It's time to start something new, Leo. Do you have the strength? That's the question. Talk to you later. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. This video should not be on anybody else's channel.